When Apple announced Spatial Audio and Dolby Atmos Music in June 2021, everybody was like, whoa, what's that gonna sound like in my headphones? But my first thought was, what's that gonna sound like in my home theater setup? Strap in, fellow audio nerds. Let's find out which is better. Movies. Oh, oh. Music. Oh hey there people of YouTube, my name is Elon Osborne and this is my channel where I talk about movies, audio, and music. And plants. Just kidding. This channel is only dedicated to super serious contemplation on movies, music, and audio. And how it has affected your life. And today, let's talk about Atmos music in a home theater setting. I go into more detail about Dolby Atmos music and spatial audio in this video comparing lossless to spatial audio, so be sure to check that out too, since there will be a lot of overlap between that and this video. Now the first thing that comes to mind personally when I hear the words Dolby Atmos is home theater. So I went out and got a new Apple TV 4K because I wanted to experience the best possible version of spatial audio by having it hooked up directly to my... Uh, no, hooked up directly to my AVR, which happens to be a Marantz SR7015, and Marantz AVRs are known for their musicality compared to other AVRs. So that combined with my 5.2.4 Atmos speaker system, I thought this would be the perfect setup to test out spatial audio in the big leagues. Again, you can see more of my reaction to spatial audio on headphones in my lossless versus spatial audio video, but long story short, I wasn't that impressed. Too many misses, not enough hits. So I thought to myself, okay, since spatial audio on headphones is more like trying to trick your brain into thinking there's more depth and space to the music, maybe, just maybe, this whole idea of Dolby Atmos music was intended for a home theater setting rather than just headphones? Let's find out. Come on, everybody! Oh, uh, the camera didn't follow you. Um, we're still here. Hello? Set up. First off, make sure your Apple TV 4K is updated to the latest tvOS version, 14.6. Connect it to your Dolby Atmos compatible soundbar or AVR if it isn't already. Then on the main screen, go to Settings, Apps, select Music, then set Dolby Atmos to Automatic. Boom. Now you can enjoy spatial audio with any song on Apple Music that has the Dolby Atmos label. How do they sound? I sure was hoping that the misses from listening on headphones would become hits when applied to a home theater setting. Nope! Most of the songs from the rock playlist still sounded odd. The power behind distorted guitars and bass and kick drum just disappeared. And the vocals still sounded distant compared to the lossless counterpart. But just like on headphones, it's more the acoustic rock songs that still stood out as sounding better. But still not fantastic. Hip hop songs were still a bit off as well, with the overall presence of the vocals, hi-hat, and snare sounding flatter than lossless. Just take Vanilla Ice's advice and do this if you think you're gonna be listening to the hip hop playlist in spatial audio. All right, stop. The silver lining though is the fact that using my home theater means my subwoofers were in play. This was also true when switching over to R&B tracks like Ariana Grande's hit Seven Rings. When the sub bass kicked in during the chorus, my wife was on her laptop at the kitchen table and she blurted out, bass. So while the overall mix doesn't translate well with hip hop, you gotta respect that bass. The country playlist wasn't 100% full of hits, but like with headphones, it translated better given the propensity of more acoustic arrangements. And speaking of acoustic arrangements, I've already sung my praises of Taylor Swift's albums Evermore and Folklore. And once again, I would highly recommend them in Dolby Atmos, especially in a home theater setting. And by highly recommend, I mean, do it or die. On the more pop side of things, the album Daddy's Home by St. Vincent is a must. I had never listened to St. Vincent before, but I saw it on a forum that Daddy's Home begs to be heard in Dolby Atmos. Listening on headphones was a blast, but listening to it with actual space between me and my speakers? Unbelievable. Whether you know it already or like that genre or not, everyone, in my opinion, has to experience Daddy's Home at least once just on a pure sonic level. If you don't experience it, you will never know what it is to truly be alive. You will never find love. You will never know happiness. You will die alone and no one will mourn you. 
I sure hope Dolby Atmos is the future. The future that I want for our children, for your children, and even for these children. I sure hope that it isn't just a gimmick that fades away after a few years. Because Daddy's Home is just a glimpse into what spatial audio could be. And I'm on board if that's how it should sound. Lord's new single, Solar Power, just dropped semi-recently and it sounds great in Dolby Atmos. It's fairly acoustic and like Lord tends to do, there are some fantastic vocal harmonies throughout that surround the listening space. If post-production studios like Skywalker Sound start getting more Dolby Atmos music clients and more jobs are created for those suckers like me who went to audio engineering school and ended up working in real estate for some time, it's a win-win situation, right? But I digress. From here, we enter into what really works well with Dolby Atmos, and that is instrumental music like classical and jazz. Just turn on that Apple TV, turn it up, and be transported to a jazz club or a concert hall. I've never been one to sit down and listen to jazz personally, but being a composer myself, I've always respected the craft, and it was actually really fun to listen to jazz with all that surrounding me. And the space and depth of the orchestral instruments in the classical playlist gave it this sound that I hadn't quite heard before. I understand that listening to it in a home theater means, well, you're at home and not on the go. So it is a little less convenient than listening to it on your headphones in a more active or mobile setting. But sonically speaking, if I'm going to choose between Dolby Atmos on headphones or an AVR, I choose AVR every time. I'm still team lossless when it comes to headphones. Surround sound was just meant to have actual physical space and air between your head and the speaker. So I still prefer that over tricking my brain into thinking there's this virtual dome surrounding my headphones. And as I said earlier, Dolby Atmos music in a home theater setting was meant for that bass. And there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Now what say ye? Have you experienced Dolby Atmos music in your home theater? Or are you thinking about getting an Apple TV 4K now so you can get that true spatial audio over an HDMI cable instead of Bluetooth? <laughs> Bluetooth. Anyway, remember to be kind to each other out there. Don't just watch TVs and movies, experience them. And of course, always be listening. Lord's new single, single. Lord's new single.